Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I got this really cute blunt cut bob. And I was just, I don't know, feeling inspired by summer cause it's hot outside, it's super hot outside. And I like wanted something short and I felt like this hairstyle is really trendy and easy to do and it looks good on most people. So if you wanna see how I got this hairstyle, then just keep on watching. And today the hair that I'm using is from HJ Weave Beauty Hair and um, it's in 16 inches and it's a 360 wig, I mean 360 lace frontal wig and it, I think it came straight but I straightened it a little bit just so um, I would have like a cleaner cut and I'm taking some regular, um, what are these called? Clippers. I'm taking some regular clippers and you want to make sure that the clippers that you're using are like sharp They're not like super dull. You want to make sure they cut at least and I'm just cutting a sh I'm starting to cut like a straight line across and I'm using a comb just to keep the hair in place and to um, get a straight line out of the just you know just you know what I'm doing you know what I'm doing I'm you know you guys know I'm bad at explaining things but yeah I'm just taking the comb and I'm running it through the hair and then I'm stopping it to where it's like a straight line and I'm going underneath the comb with the clippers and I'm also like free handing it as well just because I don't always need the comb and sometimes the comb actually makes it harder for me to cut but just I don't know use it as you're at your leisure like use it when you feel like you need to use it if you feel like you can freehand and just like go straight across then do that but I am just like going in a straight Jesus. I'm just going in a straight line and um, yeah that's really it I'm going across and then um, inwards so I get all of the hair underneath the um, underneath the cut I don't want to like leave any stragglies that's why I'm going across as well instead of just like section by section I'm just going back in and re-straightening out that line I feel like my explaining sounds really stupid but like if you guys watch what I'm doing it's really easy to like understand and get down um, but yeah and it's kind of easier to see back here um, I'm just like going in a straight line trying to keep the line as straight as possible and I'm going in really small like sections and I'm doing it I don't know I'm doing it to where I wouldn't mess up very easily like I'm doing it in really small sections so I don't accidentally chop too much off so yeah that's really the only way that's the best way I can explain it of to what I'm doing I'm just cutting hair in small sections but in a straight line yeah just cutting hair all the same length pretty much and I'm going underneath the the cut just to make sure that it's all one one length and that there's not like any hairs underneath straggling down in like way longer than the other hairs. And then I'm gonna go back in with some scissors and I'm just like even I'm not even I'm just going to get any straggly hairs that I missed with the clippers because honestly the clippers I was using weren't like the sharpest of clippers but um, they they got the job done for the most part I just had to go back in and clip a couple more hairs that um, I couldn't get with the clippers and as you can see for the most part it's a pretty straight line i i felt like i wasn't going to be able to get like a super duper duper straight line without like super duper duper sharp clippers but this was sharp enough for me and i wasn't really tripping super hard because i knew nobody else was going to be able to tell like that so this this did it for me i was fine with this 
And um, when you straighten it, you really won't be able to tell like if there are any choppy ends if you aren't that good at cutting hair. So yeah. And now I'm just taking um, my straightener. I'm having a hard time actually. Taking my straightener and I'm bumping the ends. And at first it was like looking weird and stuff. I was like putting creases in the hair, but then I took a rat tail comb and I um, picked sections up and that made it better. So yeah, I'm just gonna bump the ends of the hair and it gives it like a sleeker, more polished look. And if you do have any like super choppy ends, it'll take away the choppy ends or hide them at least. And yeah, that's really all I did to get this um, this blunt cut. There wasn't much to it, but at the same time there was. It was just like a really, not tedious job, but you just have to be really careful and um, I guess precise with how you're cutting the hair. You can't just be cutting it like, oh, chop, 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 and think it's gonna be all straight. You have to like really take your time with it and, and like do it. I guess you have to do it carefully, yeah. But um, yeah, besides that, everything else is pretty simple. As far as like the cutting design, it's literally just a straight line across. You just make it, if you wanna make it kind of inverted, you can. But that's a little harder just because it's harder to get both sides even. So if you just make it all one length, that's easier. But it'll, I don't know. Do what you do and cut it how you want to cut it. But this is just like the guideline for cutting a blunt cut bob. And if you want it to be longer or shorter, you can make it shorter or longer. I made mine shorter after the fact just because I wanted it to be shorter. Um... But if you want it to be like shoulder length, you can cut it longer. Just leave more hair and just use the same straight across technique and you'll be good. But this is the final look and how it looked at um, on my head. And I think it's pretty cute. I wasn't super pleased with this length just because I felt like it didn't frame my face how I wanted it to. But... Um, I don't know. I think it still looks cute. I don't think anything ever looks that bad on me to where I don't like it. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial and I hope it was helpful for you. And I hope you use it to get you a nice little blunt cut bob. And, you know, all shake. You know, all shake, no stiff, bitch. Okay? Never get it confused. All shake, no stiff. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.